we come to the uh, quadruple muscles, we're going to massage with a foam roller. <clears throat> so these, there's four of them. Uh, they generally mostly insert over over this patella, the kneecap there, to the tuberosities of the tibia bone, uh, roughly around there, and then obviously up near the hip, iliac crest, etc. Um, origins insertions down here doesn't really matter. They basically a basic a very basic group of muscles. These four they all do that basically extend the knee at the hip. Um, so yeah, they extend the knee at the hip like a leg extension. Uh, pretty much all their muscles are involved. They do that one that one motion apart from one, which is like the middle one rectus femoris, where that which will actually lift. It'll actually flex at the hip and do that. It's like a snap kick. So that's all rectus femoris. So they all extend and there's one that does two, rectus femoris, which basically flexes the hip and extends the knee there. Okay. So we're going to go into these muscles. Um, a few ways you can do them. Good ones to do. And yeah. So we're going to go straight in. So basically, I'll go through the safety things first. So obviously, any back problems, it really hurts. Don't even go there. But I'm going to sit. I'm going to do it in small motions. So sometimes you can split these muscles up in three bits, doing it small motions. I think that's more control. Or two motions, rather than just one all the way through. You might be able to go all the way through, but I find you get a bit more specific focus on the muscle. You can tune into it, and just with little emotions, you can get in there. So again, you might do lower. Uh, the way I'll do it is lower first, upper, you know, or lower, middle, then upper. Um, but again, we're going to get ourselves set up. I will say, gathering, throw that corset as always. Many sort of physical things like this, if, especially if you've got back problems, obviously it really aggravates, don't go there. Um, yeah, throw that corset. Um, if you've got like an acute injury within two days, say you've like slightly torn a muscle. Uh, definitely, you know, don't go straight in there. Um, it probably be acute, acute stages. Um, if it's a tiny little micro tear, it might take two days. Don't go in while it's slightly inflamed, but uh, obviously, uh, see how that goes. Basically, if it hurts, don't do it. So, um, but obviously, you're going to get a little bit of that sort of massage, um, slight uncomfortableness. Uh, so you're getting into the muscles. So you're, you're pushing all the blood up towards the heart and you're getting rid of the toxins towards the heart, like lactic acid, uh, inflammation, stuff like that. Because uh, with a lot of exercise, we're slightly micro tearing the muscles, so they grow back stronger. Um, so sometimes you'll be these tiny little micro tears, just need a little bit of help. Uh, obviously not tears as in muscle, you know, tear tears. But um, just the general things we do, because we again, when we have a good workout and we slightly ache, we, start, we micro, micro tear the muscles. But again, not a full tear, a rupture. You don't want to be going in to this straight away. Okay, so we're going to go through the alignment. So like I say, throw on that corset, support the spine, navel towards the spine, throws on the transverse abdominus, three layers deep, which supports the spine. And again, you can align yourself up. I go wrist in line with shoulders, Spread the fingers, middle fingers forward, detect the wrists. Uh, and again, you probably need a mat, but I mean, I'm, I'm fine, but uh, you might need one. So, we're going to start here down the bottom. Uh, I'm going to do it one legged to start off with. So, here, the middle, I'm going to do half and come back. So, like I say, that little motion, you've got the alignment, you're doing bigger motions, you might not, especially if you've got any back injury, you don't need bow in the back, etc. So, and come this way so yeah you're going to do that lower portion just near the knee back and forth if you can keep alignment rather than sort of letting the back bow then do that if you find that corset that gives you that stability now again we're keeping central so it's going through rep femoris here the bottom of rep femoris but um yeah and then you can come and do the top here if you're doing two two bits or you know Bottom, middle, top, that's the way I'll do it. So you've got more control. Um, if you want to do two legs on there, you're fine to do that. If that's a bit too much on the side for you, you can always just get both legs on there and do exactly the same with two legs on there. So, wrist in line with shoulders, watch this. 
find that core. So keep that alignment. Don't let the shoulders hunch. And just again, you can do, you know, maybe say 20 or so motions there. Then you can move up maybe to the middle, 20 motions there. And then when you've done that, 20 motions at the top. Um, can be Pacific, so you want to go and get the side here, the fastest lateralis around the side there. You can do that, you can just go to the side. But again, you might want to just leave this leg off and go to the side again bottom middle top or bottom and top you can go up there to the top there again i'd go say maybe 10 or 20 there 10 10 or 20 there 10 or 20 there um you can there is the itbs but if you go slightly on the side we get this vastus lateralis muscle here if you go to the centre, it's more the rep from Morris muscle or vastus in. Um, you want to go to this side. You've got vastus intermedius and also here vastus medius, vastus intermedius. So basically, you can just go this way and just you know get that one leg off there. You could do it two legs on, but I'll just keep it easy. Gathering, keep that stability on the core six. It's a little bit of a core exercise as well. You might want to move up here, but again, that's the way I do it. Segment let say you don't know, like you know, whatever you've done on there, if you've been there a couple of minutes or whatever on their muscles, and you might want to stretch it, do your usual stretch because it's nice and warm, but lightly stretch. You can do it on the ground, um, here, sort of on a basis leg out here for support, knee and arm of hip, knee and arm of ankle. This top one, you're going to stretch. Keep in line with knee, knee in line with ankle. Grab the shin, okay? I wouldn't grab the foot, okay, personally. Um, and then from here, you stick the hip forward. If that's too much problem, you can do it standing. But um, if you've got problems with that, you can always just grab a trouser, if you've got trousers on, or get a towel, wrap it round. Put the towel here. You can always wrap a towel round here. Here, but again, throwing that corset as always, you don't have to hit yourself like that, but throw that corset on and stick the hip forward and pull that back there. Again, you don't want to be sort of doing this arch in the back. I'd keep that alignment hips, ankles, knees, shoulders all stacked. Nice tabletop here. Again, stretch your legs because they're nice and warm, then, or you can stand up and get the usuals. Like I say, I would go for the ankle. Personal thing of me, I don't like the foot because sometimes it can be a bit ski with and I would get there get aligned knee and line the hip then stick the hip forward and gather in try not to do this sort of thing it's all right but um, if you've got the knees in line with each other okay everything aligned first then stick this hip forward as you gather in but don't hold it you don't want to arch the back you don't want to over arch the back and keep that alignment here Hips in line, knees in line, root that leg in, either hold a wall. If you find you're losing your balance, put your finger on your nose or your ear for a second, might help your balance. You can even lengthen out between big toe, little toe, but otherwise just hold a wall, keep it simple. And grab that ankle and stick that hip forward. As you throw on your corset, as always, there. Again, here, you're, it's not the end of the world, but you're missing out on that stretch. Bring that hip forward. You get right into that rectus femoris muscle down the centre. Bang! So that's the end of the uh, quad maintenance and yeah, recovery. Bang!